Hello and welcome to the all new, yeah, all new Saturday wrap. Um, this is the Saturday wrap for the 30th of July 2022, and the all new NAS two cameras really two cameras um and a hell of a lot of mess in the background but you know what can you do in my case more mess anyway if you haven't seen this before the saturday rap is me burbling on about nothing in particular but the last week yeah so what a week it was um yeah so let's start off with the three main things then. Things then. Got to look over here. Word or phrase of the week, app of the week, and thing of the week. If I was in work, what happened this week would be called a transformation. Basically, tech. And as we go through all of this, um, you'll see what I mean. Anyway, um, transformation in work just means slightly different this is a whole different ball game really really is and you, you will see it you will definitely and i'm just playing around with this to make sure that i know how it works anyway um let's move on um to the app of the week of the week i don't know if i've mentioned this before um setup it's from ukraine and it's like Netflix for apps. You pay $9.99 a month. I don't think that's with VAT. Um, but who knows, to be honest. Um, and then you get to download all these apps if you want them. It's renting apps. It's Spotify for apps. Um, and the apps are the full versions. Like if they have like a trial version or a light version and a pro version, you get the pro version. And quite a lot of apps here are like, $9.99 a month and I think there's over about 200 different apps and what I'm using at the moment a moment is one of them um, it's called detail it's from the Netherlands and um, you can have lots of different windows and lots of different cameras and such like yeah I'm on the seven day trial but I'm going for it I'm going for it and just as well that I gave up Netflix because I want this and it's much better, it says scratching. Oh yeah, um, beer, rock leopard, uh, cloud water. Uh, what have we got? 6.2% alcohol by volume. Really, really nice. Um, came in a four pack. I think I had them for Christmas and I still got them knocking around. So probably a little bit attenuated by now. Okay. And the last thing, the thing of the week. Okay, two cameras, M2 MacBook Air, front camera here, iPhone 13 Pro camera there, um, yeah, new MacBook, um, in midnight, <sighs> wow, it really, really, really goes. It goes like stink to be perfectly honest. Um, and I'll come back to some of the other things I'm using with it as well. Okay, so last Saturday while I was doing this, I thought I heard someone at the front door early on. Now the posties don't usually come until late, but it turned out it was the postie. And he left a note saying, um, yeah, if you could go to the sorting office, they would be nice. Sorting office, really not open till Monday they opened on a Sunday um, but I don't think they're in the, the moment you know okay um, so that was Saturday um, Sunday started off with booking Beano's okay so I've got a Beano Beano um, for the end of the month going to Monmouth for two nights and then I well I'm going to Oktoberfest Oktoberfest in Gloucester um it's the gloucester brewery um there's a couple of nights there i've got um they're having it on the last day of september then october october he says um so that's the 30th first and second and i'm staying in the premier inn where we have fast wi-fi and i'll be taking all this junk with me as well so i'll be looking forward to that because i haven't had a beano in july 
Mind you, I look at. I thought, hmm, I wonder what next week looks like in Hereford. One hundred and twenty quid. No, absolutely not in the slightest. Right. Okay. And it rained on Sunday. And I don't. I do Bing rewards. Um, and you just answer little questions and quizzes and there's information and if you get, I think it's 5,700 points, you can have £5 worth of Amazon's vouchers. So I redeemed them on Sunday, £25 worth. It doesn't work very well. Here's the trick. Um, as soon as you redeem them, go to the redemption page, go to the thing at the end, forget about the emails because the emails never arrive and they just give you URLs to the redemption page and then you put the code in and you have the money in your um, Amazon account. Which is what you actually, be perfectly honest. Um, it took me a phone call to their tech support to get all of that. Um, mind you, it was about 24 hours, so not particularly that bad. And also Sunday, Sunday morning, on the phone to my, well, one of my credit card people, fraud departments. Yeah, um, little amounts from places that you wouldn't have thought of, like the United States or Chalwa in Belgium. No, um, must admit, they were really good. They cancelled the card, which is a... Uh, I wanted to use the card. I wanted to use the card for setup, to be perfectly honest, because they charge in dollars. <sighs> Mind you, it came yesterday, so I could have started all that sort of thing anyway. Um, what else? Um, planting out. I think it was cucumbers. It could have been peppers, but I think it was cucumbers. Um, and then more um, spring onions. I'm having issues with the spring onions, just propagating them. You just don't go i don't know why but there you go and um yeah for lunch summer onions are they planted last october they are now finished they've died back um they're the japanese ones sensui i think they're called really really nice um mild and crunchy and went down an absolute storm them a lot absolutely brilliant um what else oh yeah sunday night well i ordered the m2 and i woke up early on monday morning sort of like i don't know one ish and uh, i'd had an alert from the parcel app if you're on ios uh, or even mac os use the parcel app uh, up until then from the last wednesday it was sitting in southern china all of a sudden it had arrived in the east midlands airport and then two hours later it had left east midlands airport and then about three hours later it was in bristol long story short in the morning i had a number of texts saying um dhl express will be delivering today i went into panic mode a touch of the working from home um stopped off at the parcel office to get my parcel it turned out to be an empty box it turned out to be an empty box for my trade-in macbook pro the guy at the player said it looks like an empty box it was an empty box and um, jumping forward, I've had an email from Apple last night to say they received my MacBook Pro and they're processing my money back. And thank you very much. Things are working, which is good. Anyway, so I got home. Um, five minutes later, I thought, mm, I'm working in the front bedroom overlooking the road so I can see the delivery. I thought, oh, the gate's open. Better pop down because I haven't got a bell. And close the gate because the gate's a bit rusty and you can hear it creak as it opens and I got to the gate and I looked up and there was the guy with my M2 MacBook Air timing anyway quick update on it battery life after you set it up absolutely brilliant um speed okay so I got the 16 gig 512 gig version things just launch they really do work um there's no touch bar i don't really miss that 
Um, I got the midnight blue one or the midnight one. Not quite as bad as the fingerprint trap they say it is. I like it a lot, a lot. Um, and my fingers are greasy. I know that sounds bad, but that's the way that they are. Um, okay, not cheap. I intend to keep it a little while. This is the camera that comes with it. And it's not too bad, to be perfectly honest. Uh, this is the iPhone one. Um, slightly different. Different. Okay, um, what else happened then? Um, also on Monday. Packed. Um, moving my iPhone provider from 3 to Smarty. Smarty an online version of 3. With a lot cheaper prices and a lot more in the way of data. Um, same coverage, same whatever. So uh, their network, uh, 4G is completely oversold. 5G is coming in. It's exactly the same as 3, except all their support is online instead of ringing them. I can cope with that. And it's much cheaper. The only problem was um, my SIM went dead about 10 o'clock took the old one out, put the new one in, it took until middle of the afternoon for the new one to kick in with the new number. Except my iPhone picked up the number that was originally assigned to it. Here's the fix. It's horrible. Um, just set network settings. Okay, the problem is you lose all your Wi-Fi passwords and you have to go around deleting bits and pieces, but it works. Editing things like the old number and putting the new number in just doesn't work at all, which is horrible. Anyway, so um, that was Monday. Um, Tuesday, I was back in work. I had a text from Argos. See, more tech. The 6A I'd ordered. Um, and the case. The case was coming from Google. We're coming on Wednesday instead of Thursday. Working from home on Wednesday had a text from Argos on Wednesday saying, that text you had yesterday, we're very sorry, um, we meant Thursday. Uh, so Thursday, also working from home. Uh, whatever. Okay, mind you, on Wednesday, wiped the MacBook Pro um, and post it back in the empty box, which was now full. And it was really straightforward. Stick two labels on, close the box. Okay, you had to wipe the MacBook Pro and reinstall the operating system and all that sort of stuff. But that, that's security, security anyway, so why not? Ah, right. Um, the 6A and the case arrived on Thursday. Um, quite easy to uh, upgrade cable in one cable in the other all the data all the stuff comes over unfortunately passwords don't so you have to re-log into a shared load of stuff including google authenticator which i exported everything from my iphone and that worked that works surprisingly well okay moving on to friday friday okay so this year two red weather warnings the wind in february and the heat in july and the aa came up with an amber road warning for friday everyone in wales and england now the schools are closed and they're all going away and the roads are busy and it looked like a bit stuff for wales online although the m4 was quite delayed really delayed you know i must stop saying you know See, I stopped there. I managed that. Anyway, um, Friday night, uh, joint setup on the seven-day trial. New credit card, put that in. Downloaded a well about four programs, including this one, uh, and clean my Mac X and Tech Soap and Clear Shot, I think. Uh, and then sat back and watched for all mankind. That's on Apple TV Plus, four ninety nine a month. It is awesome. And episode eight, the Sons of Aries, absolutely wonderful. Really, really awesome. And just before the end, there was the screen went black, and I thought, "Don't end now, don't end." It didn't end, but it was 
great absolutely brilliant do watch it if you like science fiction and alternative histories and mars <laughs> so this morning um with the 25 pounds worth of stuff that i had from amazon and some of my own money i ordered a couple of things including a logitech Lytro glow light trying to install the software for it today g hub it doesn't work doesn't work um uh, logitune the older piece of software works a treat you can control the brightness so let's see if that works whoops hang on slightly brighter not as bright and the color temperature um and i can do on and off it's really good swap the cable out though i need to be all usb-c um Great hardware, poor software. Where did I hear that before? It looks on the side. Mm, a great deal of difference. Any, anyway, so that was my week. Um, comments in the usual place. YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, MeWe, whatever. I've enjoyed doing this, and this has worked rather well. He says, hopefully. Anyway, go back to drinking beer now. Bye.